and welcome back to at least it's been a while since we started streaming for a league and my name is lyle and we do, we will have um another person coming in today so here today uh okay so it seems like our team um we have a jack sejuani ari and the enemy team right now is darius and Mumu diana so at least from what I see right now, Diana is def Diana and Amumu is definitely like one of the same team. Alts, but maybe they're playing off from somebody else. Ezreal band. Wow. So right now we have the Jax, Sejuani, and Ari. This team. Yeah, I'm just gonna say not I don't really know that much about team comps, but definitely Amumu and Diana are one of the uh their uh team fight alts oh and senna pick senna pick so we got darius we got darius oh malachi so we have ad ap ap ad ap great so uh it's been a while since we streamed last time so I just see what we can do now. So now we have to wait for the delay. So we'll be back soon. Hello, we are back again. Hello, hello. My name is Ryan Sean, and we also have... <coughs> hello. Alright, so, um, just looking at this game. We have Fairfax versus the Eisenhower. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the name of it? T Tigers or something? I don't remember. The Eisenhower High School. And just to quickly, you know, explain to you guys this band pick that we're seeing so on the blue side we have jack sejuani ari vane maokai and on the right side we have darius amumu senna diana and zyra so how i see this going senna zyra versus vane maokai obviously um them two are quite polar opposites of a leaning matchup senna and zyra very pokey very gonna try to use your range and a lot of their mana and ability to kind of kind of um, scratch and poke at Vayne and Maokai. But this, I'm gonna be looking for on this bot matchup how Vayne and Maokai them together, how they are going to kind of beat through that level three, level four early poke and maybe look for um maybe look for some sort of leverage point in the middle of you know team fights such as dragons. This Ari and Diana matchup will be more favorable to Diana in the late to late the late game. But Ari with their insane wave clear is going to be able to um join faster. So this is gonna be a battle of the bot river. Um Senna and Zyra with more prio while Ari has more prio. Can Ari make more of an influence? Or will Senna and Zyra be able to more be able to make more of an um influence? Top lane, Jackson Darius is a, basically a skill matchup. It's whoever has the better physical skill. Amumu Sejuani, very, when you think of Amumu Sejuani in jungle, it's like, tanky, very, very, um, you know, brute force, very standing on their ground, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun match, I really, um, I'm actually looking forward to see how that Senna Zyra goes, Senna Zyra is usually played very aggressively, I'm not sure how the Eisenhower school is gonna play it, but it's also a really good vein game in the late game. They have Jax, they have Maokai, they have Sichuani. If they can peel well enough, that Amumu and Darius will melt in about 6.7 seconds in a team fight. Mm. 
But do you think Diana was like a great pick, especially on Ari? Yeah, Ari. I think Diana's a great pick here. Diana's really good for following the Zyra ult and Mumu ult. Um, very, um, also very agile with her ease, which goes well with um, Senna. Um, little um, cloud thing, the, the E, Senna E, and um, the Mumu's shroud. Q's. Yeah, exactly. Thing, um, it was a very um, wise choice. Diana is it's not really a play to mid pick, however, Diana snowball is crazy because the AP items these days are really strong. So, as we get into the match, Fairfax versus Eisenhower, let's get it. Let's see, let's see, let's see how it's gonna turn out here. Just looking at the junglers, um. The jungler's starting. Um, looks like Amumu is going to be starting a Raptors. So Juwani also starting a bot side. Looks like they will be going and splitting the jungle on their sides. Okay, okay. So this Darius here. Darius is level one is obviously very good. But as you know, we watch Daniel's code as his games as Jax. He's not just going to, I don't think he's just going to be letting those things slide. He's His Jax, in my opinion, is fairly top tier in, you know, in Emerald. He's a very good skilled player, very aggressive as well, which we're going to see how that turns out, you know, for either of them. And actually, the Lolito Temple buy on the Jax just means that he's not going to look for these, you know, short trades. He's not going to look for bursts. He's going to look to take the long fights with Darius, so I'm, we're gonna see how that that attack speed, but less healing is gonna go with Darius. Mm. Looks like a Mumu going with the no leash from the Darius. This just obviously this decision by um, Eisenhower exemplifies and kind of puts more emphasis on um, the strategies that Eisenhower wants to do. He bot pressure. Keep them at bay. Keep Maokai and Vayne at bay. Because Mal definitely Maokai this game has been a very strong pick in the support lane. Yep, yep. Maokai. The thing about Maokai is his push control. He actually did get nerfed very recently. Uh, but even though he did get nerfed, I don't see that as like a big issue. Mm, I see. Yeah. Oh, if we look at top lane, Jax is actually... Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be, you know, this is how it's going to go level 1. Jax isn't going to be able to do as much, you know, on the map. And, you know, because Darius is a stat check champion. You can't just walk up to him like that. And as you see, you go mid gank to Sejuani, and a flash goes out from the Diana. The W does hit on the Diana. That was a very clean gank. The little 3-3 three, um, three camp going right after. The, the Mumu was a little late. So Joanny's clear is a little... She cleared it faster. From what I know, Mumu is, should be faster. But anyways. Maybe because without the leash. Yeah, maybe because without the leash. That was probably a big factor. And Diana without flash. Oh, oh. Diana going in. The charm does hit. Ari flashes out. Oh, oh, they're both really low. Both moves are really low. Both popping the, the potions. Ari had a really good um, charm as she was exiting out. And the ball in here. Amumu going for the going for the gank here. Exhaust goes on the Maokai. Zyra with the Q. She's not going to be able to get anything. Yeah. Damn. So, Just ganks yeah. and fights as soon. So obviously we see this Amumu's decision of throwing away. Not going for his blue and going for the gank right away. Probably caught the timing off of um, Bane and Maokai very heavily. Because you, you don't expect... As soon as you see um, a gank over there... You know, you don't expect them to come when the, oh. the scuttle is up. And as we speak, a good combination from the Ari and the Sejuani. Amumu was a little bit... Huh. <laughs> Amumu was a little bit... And she, he was unconscious of the situation. Just walking in, knowing that Ari... That Diana did not have Flash, and knowing Knight. While well, Ari and um, Sejuani have very good combinations. You see, a good score for Fairfax as they take the first blood... Very low on the Diana. Maybe Ari can look for something here. Oh! Looks like Maokai and Vayne are, were able to get the Senna. Little replay here. 
full HP. Wow, the, that's just that's just what you do when Senna, you know, stepping up like that. It's a Senna. He's she's probably one of the weakest bodies in the game, and the Balin is gonna use that pressure to continuously push up. Ooh, I'm scared. This Diana is gonna be acting. Mumu with the flash, will he be able to land the E? Flying Turtle will not be able to land the E. Gives a good gank try though. Does give Diana a little bit of um a little bit of airway, but Sejuani at the same time is walking up. Jax is coming down the river. And Amumu is trying to do the grubs, but is spotted. And the Jax is trying to engage this fight. Are you walking up? Does not have five yet. But Sejuani giving the movement speed to the Jax. W auto. Darius is still continuously <laughs> freezing the wave. Nothing that Darius can really do here. Except, you know. The Mumu can do nothing but just die, not using flash, just, just peacefully, and this grub will be hidden and will be taken very secretively. Um, by Fairfax Lines, one down, two to go, and I'm actually really impressed with this bot lane. I that dodging that first gank a Mumu came by, and then actually turning the situation, catching that time where the enemy makes a mistake very well and executing their plan executing that melt damage that they have it's absolutely beautiful watching that and you know as we watch um pigeon um this veins game of fairfax i just i just have to say this guy should be diamond he's should be diamond he's very very focused here good cc is good um cs as well the most in the game after darius by 51 on the top lane and Honestly, this is what's just gonna be, have to be. Oh. With Darius buying Brambo Belt, this just means that Jax can't do anything unless Jax has E. So after those trades, it's like Jax is basically useless. He's just he's just a sandbag. He can't do anything without his E. That's just Darius's, you know, the, just how Darius works as a champion. He can't really do anything. And as we speak, Amumu looking for a little gank here, but it's spotted by two wards in the Dragon Time. Can they get the war? They cannot. Oh. But you see, that's just what happened. That should just not. Those things should not be happening in this red team. They should be continuously getting priority. But once that, like once they got killed, once they lost priority. Okay, oh. and the W flash from the Malka is going in. Sano with the shroud is able to get out. But the flash, the ignite is gonna kill the flash. Doesn't matter anyways. Three stacks on the on the Zyra. Very flash. Very well used to flash by um by the Maokai. That they are probably looking at trade flashes since Maokai does have hex flash and this will lead to the dragon. But they caught him off guard completely. The Senna was separated. A very good Q separation um, from the Maokai onto the Senna, and the dragon will be taken by the blue team. 4-0 currently. Two two objectives up with three grubs. And um, one Infernal Dragon taken into the hands of Fairfax Lions. But, I mean, I, I still don't think it's not that bad of a... It's still doable. The fact that Jax is um, continuously struggling. I mean, and this Amumu is... He needs to look for a kind of breakthrough point where they can fight this Darius. Where they can look to get more on the top lane. I see. So, from at least what... What can you see as the gameplay in mind of Fairfax and the gameplay in mind in the whole game for the enemy team? For Eisenhower. Eisenhower gotta gotta they gotta play more um by the late game, I probably will Fairfax will have most of the objectives. They will have to play for a little um turtleish you know stance where they stand back. They don't really look for too aggressive things. But this is a very good gank from oh. Amumu. Oh, cannot Oh, he's back. Oh. Cannot. Oh, he's trying to look for all these things. Unfortunate. But will not be able to get it, unfortunately. Okay. I mean, no objectives up. It's just going to be a cruising time. Um. 
Maybe we have some slight issues here if the audience can hear us. But, uh, uh, we have some little slight issues if people can hear us right now. And we are currently trying to fix them right now. We'd be right back after a little bit. Hello and welcome back. Uh, we fixed our slight issue here. So yep, a little bit of issues, but it is what it is. We are back 11 minutes. It's like, as in I was able to snag a little bit of kills, two kills already on the on the, on the Ari and Vayne, however. Fairfax still looking strong. And as I mentioned, I guess they did get a, a little bit of a, a an attack on top lane with Amumu. We can see the assist and Darius with the kill. Sejuani plotting something. Dana's flash is now barely up. Are they gonna? Oh, they're just gonna give it up. Running bot immediately. I like how active the Sejuani is. Oh. Trying to help out the lanes. Doesn't even need the help though. Let's see that replay on the bot there. Is it? Let's see what it is. They get too close and they just ult him. Yeah, Senna. Oh, using W to actually evade. The Zyra and not being able to, you know, actually get the Zyra with the, with the ult from the back. Which I think would have been also a great idea from the Maokai. But very good score either way from the Fairfax Alliance here in this moment. Maokai and Sejuani looking to find the Amumu. But Amumu is just passing on to the, to the mid, to his blue side. Amumu has no idea what is happening. Oh, <laughs> oh Amumu queuing in. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. It is taken by the Sejuani and the Amumu flashing over, but the Ari is on the other side. Well, they're all ready to snatch the kill. Oh, um, I feel very bad for Amumu this game. Yeah, honestly. That was very oh, well played so. by the Fairfax Lions. Looking again on the Senna. This Senna, I feel bad for the Senna, man. A dive. Oh, oh, a dive onto the ball and is successful as the charm is being able to hit the Zyra. My goodness, this is a massacre. Diana may be able to get a little bit of, um, you know, her platings, but the fact that two dragon gone at 13 minutes already, massive improvements in Fairfax and gameplay wise, and very, you know, destructive actually, you know, from the Fairfax lines here, taking the, the dragon. And looking at the items here, Bork and Grievous, Berserker Greaves have come out for Vayne. Probably one of Vayne's, you know, that's, once she gets that, her fights are going to be super, um, you know, one-sided one as long as she has that right peel. Senna and, you know, looking at Senna and looking at Zyra and Maokai, we can obviously tell kind of the strength power, you know, how strong each other um, compared to each other is. Sejuani, everyone with more CS in general, except mid and top lane for both sides. And I find this kind of odd. 
that Diana actually has more CS than Ari. Um, I mean, it is the mid game where Diana gets very strong, but I'm also surprised at the same time that you know, Ari is a little behind on CS. Maybe he was doing a little more roaming, and as you can see, Maokai trying to go for he, he tried to go for an engage, but yeah, Whoa, did not work out. And all the kids are coming in from class. It is going to get a little loud, but that means that we're going to have to lift our voices a little bit more for the audience to hear us. And yeah. Ari and Malka looking for the Diana. Diana and Ari are both around one fifth, two fifth HP. A movement looking for the Maokai, but Maokai is very tanky. Charm, oh. ult. Oh, and the flash out to dodge the Mumu ult. Oh, the Darius is coming down, though. Darius is coming down, though. Sejuani in the front side. Oh, and the charm misses, but it's okay. The damage is going to melt the Darius one by one and put him in a blender, completely destroying him. Not even necessary for the Jax to come down, just peacefully farming. This They're going to take the Herald as well. Four objectives already for the Fairfax Lions. And ball lane. Ooh, they almost died. That would have been bad, but survives as they were buying time. And the Rift Herald will go down. Wow, like just the 15 lines. minutes alone, Fairfax has shown significant, like, significant gameplay. Yeah, honestly, 3.8, 3. 3. Point, I can't do math. 3.4k, 2 gold, more. First turret down by the Jacks. And you know what they say, if you take first turret, you win the game as a top laner. So I, see. I guess top one, the Trinity Force comes out. And this is actually going to be a very good point to watch. Trinity Force exemplifies Jax's abilities to fight and the choice of Darius to build Bramble Vest first will actually delay his first core. So I'm wondering how this is going to look out in the top dynamic because Jax, you know, still has that Jax still has that priority in the itemizer and as you can see, leaving a little duel here both top laners, bone planings are out the E does not hit the Jax does not hit the Darius, I mean, the Jax is running for his life. The stacks are gone. Darius Q does miss. Darius has 12 HP at 12, level 12. Ulti from the Jax is going to make his AP damage huge. Five stacks on the Darius. Oh! And the Jax is able to finish off the Darius without the Darius being able to use the ult. What happened? Bot lane. I see them all. Oh my all goodness. And a little skirmish bot lane here, but a little instant replay here. Both bone planings go out here and... I thought it was lost here when that E did not hit, when that when the Jax counter did not hit. But look at this. Oh, very mis uh, misused of the Darius. He's hitting level 12 as well. And the ult, this is where this is Le Lethal Tempo comes in. Lethal Tempo is so good for these long fights. My goodness. Oh. oh. Inting right away <laughs> as we move back into, oh. you know, oh, but at least the thing. He got the, he got the turret. You know, died, died for it. There's nothing they can really do about it. It's like they're trying to Avengers assemble on this bot lane here. Maokai is very low, but Sejuani with the Q flash is coming in. The Zyra ult does hit the Sejuani. The Sejuani does ult. It lands on the Senna. Aww. Senna flashes away and is one auto away from not dying. Very close. Very well played. Um, Senna picking out flash. Trading the Sejuani flash. I mean, Senna's life will be very important. We're very hard to keep anyways. Oh, so happening? I like it here. Top laners. I like when top laners fight. I like these dirty, grimy fights. Oh, and the ward Q to dodge. Two shirt two turret shots hit by the on the Darius already. Darius is gonna run with the ghost. Jax, he can smell something. Jax smells something. Jax, he smells it. He's scared. Oh by three seconds. Jax was not able to kill or fight the Darius. But the third Drake, Mountain Drake, has been confirmed. For Fairfax Lions. And I think Mountain Drake is a great pick and a, a great Drake because of Maokai, because of Jax, and because of Sejuani. That frontlineness, you know, that they can, um, the frontlineness that they have is going to be very good for the Fairfax Lions. And as they destroy the turret, Zara was a little ignorant of the of the Maokai range on the ult and the W. And an easy kill on, on Vayne, for Vayne, on the Zyra, is going to make Vayne five kills now. The highest amount of kills. Wow. Senna has the highest amount of deaths. Quite ironic, isn't it? The Grammy fights of top laners fight again. The ult is popped. This is where Lethal Technical comes in. Darius is not able to hit the Q. No flash on either top laners. The Qing onto the W auto. 
it's just absolute massacre. This is what I mean by the Trinity Force difference. Darius has Trinity Force now, but now their items are completely equal. Jax, I could say, has caught up. This is the, this is the Silent Jax that we um, everyone is scared of. This is what Jax is really capable of. Good poke onto the Diana. Wow. You see, Fairfax is they're using their items to their advantage now. They're def they're definitely seeing profits with um like their money. They're just snowballing in more and more with the Drake with the with the bottom dive onto the Zyra scene a few minutes earlier. Baron is coming up soon. Most of the most of the members of Eisenhower on the ball lane. Ari does stop the back of Senna, and the top lane tower of Inhibitor hasn't broken. It's just it's just rolling this priority they have. It's just rolling priority, rolling vision. As you can see, I mean, look at the vision of the red team. They have none. Blue team has all of River, and it's kind of depressing, honestly, to see this. It, it really is depressing. I see. So. At least what we can see right now, like, what do you think some of the errors that you saw, at least from the enemy team, uh, Eisenhower? I mean, Eisenhower did do um, a good job early, um, you know, but I feel like just in these fights, they just weren't as focused as Fairfax. Fairfax was a lot more coordinated, and Fairfax using that coordination to their advantage is actually rolling this snowball down the hill very fast, using, you know, for example, the vision, like the, like the, like the bot dives. And the solo kills as well to just continuously push and as jack solo pushes they're continually pushing the other lanes as well very good idea of how the game should work macro wise and sejuani looking to do a little damage but it's a sejuani tank it's not going to do any damage oh oh my gosh the ari is going to be assassinated by the diana and the mumu that was a very sharp angle looking at that replay right here that was a very sharp angle by the ari and ari was a little bit Without her charm, that Q was a beautiful using the ult of the Mumu. And, you know, ultimately killing the Ari, taking the shutdown on a Mumu. That's a very good pick. That was very well done. And as Jax is going to take down the bot lane, he does oh. is able to kill the Senna. But the Darius is going to be able to flash and ult him down. But I think that's very good, actually, for Fairfax. Taking bot lane... One turn, taking Baron as well. This is what I'm talking about, Snowball. Using the idea that there's a two or more people mid in bot lane. Just using the idea that they are a vein. They're just belting this Baron down. They're, it's not as fast as they want it to be. But look, this is the power of Maokai and good vision. They're just continuously having vision. Continuously having these um you know little flowers and buddies all over the map. And Darius is going to try to get a profit off of this. But Ari has it covered. I'm going to try to look for a mid. You know, trying to push the main, but... This is the part that Eisenhower is failing at. They're not able to realize, you know, what they're doing, like what the enemy is doing. They're just doing the same thing over and over again. Well, Fairfax is very good at, they, they've seen these macros a lot. They they can tell that, like, like they know what they're, like, that what the enemy's thinking. They have them read like a dictionary. They knew that when Jax is going to be go pushing bot, there's going to be at least three bot. They use that as an advantage to just completely take Baron at 22 minutes. It's it's insane, honestly. Just the steamroll I'm seeing from the Fairfax lines here. And and the, and the gold difference is crazy. 7,000, almost two items of differences on these people. And the level differences as well, 13 and 11 and 10 to 10. Same for the supports, but two level difference from the ADCs and the top laners. And Jax is already caught up almost to, you know, Darius's levels. And Ari with the with the level advantage up as well onto the, to Diana. It's going to be a fun fight. It's gonna be a fun game to see if if Fairfax can end it fast enough, or if the if the Eisenhowers can stall it. Ghost goes down. Q is it? Five stacks on the on the Jacks, dodging with the Q out. But oh, oh. the Senna does not hit. But he is going to. Oh, oh, he's going to live actually. The Darius is not all at the five stacks. And they're just going to use this to their advantage and do the drag. Maokai is going to die by a little bit of a of a forced initiate. But Dana. Dana is looking oh. for the ult here. Onto the onto the vein. Vein does flash out. Vein is able to oh. is able to stun the Dana onto the wall. Oh, and the and the vein accidentally dashes into the Mumu. Mistake played, I guess, um, as we can see from the vein. But that was very well played from either side. It is a two for three trade, however. Both junglers are alive. And I think they're just gonna have to give this. Oh. oh hold up. 
Amumu went in. Amumu is very low. Oh, it is not being able to get steal it, stolen. Looks like they're gonna try to ping pong this and flashes out. Very unfortunate. Oh, very unfortunate. It's Can honestly I just say so there was just two five cells happening at the same time. My goodness, that was, that was. That was, fist, that was fist clenching. That was palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti, vomit on a spot already. Jesus, that was a close fight. And I was mentioning that Diana, I told you, that Diana late game with the Shadow Flame, with, what is that called? The Storm Search will literally obliterate the vein, which almost happened. And super play by super play after super play by Fairfax and Eisenhower at the same time. And the gold difference has been shut. 5k but that's still a lot of gold difference and levels that eisenhower needs to make up and as we speak the both top inners still finish their two core with shojin and eclipse eclipse on darius feels a little weird and odd but it's their game i see um so at least what what's the next move that both teams should do now um obviously um dragon baron are a little back so if they really want to force a fight they would try to um, use this jacks you know use the the split pushing jacks as the as kind of a bait and the senna e does not hit and the jacks baiting to be solo actually is looking with the sejuani jack sejuani is very known to be a good pick because oh, oh can we just look at that darius down there yeah i mean there as much as fairfax is looking to get this Diana. Dax is gonna have to forcefully use his TP. That could have been used for other uses. Sejuani on the backside looking for something. Uh, are... You know, I like this. Uh, it's a little bit of a stalemate. That Jax TP, we'll see how that's gonna affect the game. That Jax TP could have been a huge a factor for the upcoming Baron and Drag fights. But I mean, we'll see how it's gonna be used. Yep, right, drag right. spawning in one in three minutes and Baron spawning in 150 already. Oh! Oh! Both flashes for the top laners are gone. Stun on the Darius. Oh! Will he die? Will he die? Oh! The Solari? The Solari pendant? Oh, oh my. They're still be able to finish off. My goodness. That's just Darius for you. That really is just Darius for you. That's. You can't. You, Darius is one of those champions where if he has. Like, if, he's, if he has you in a pot, you're never leaving alive. That's just how the champion works. And as looks like Eisenhower is going to be looking for the Sejuani, but not be able to get the Sejuani at the moment as the Zyra misses. And just a, just a compilation of clearing waves. Clearing wave, get vision, delete vision. Just a standard to set up for the, the upcoming Baron vision. The Baron pit vision fights. And this Amumu, he's very ambitious. He's very <laughs> active, looking for these hooks. And I don't blame him. Amumu, he, he, one good old can really team, turn on the team fight for I the mean, better. I Diana was nearby, too. Yeah, exactly. Diana, that, he's lurking. Stan is just lurking around. And I believe Diana does have flat. No, but, but Diana does have her dash. Mm -hmm. And as Jax is pushing this bot lane, the... Darius is pop two on the balling though, and this is damage of Jax on the side lane. Jax is hit with the Darius five stack, but he's just gonna he's just gonna oh. Tokyo drift this. Oh. But Fairfax is going to be able to use that Jax step to take the to take the tower, and the thing is now there's no ghost on Darius, and no ghost and no alt on a Mumu. which is really good. It's good, and looks like both junglers are backing for this Baron fight. Any items that will come out? Terminus comes out and uh, for the vein, which is going to be a huge buy. That Terminus is going to be able to melt and melt and melt. But did you think because of the, do you think because of the Darius and Diana right now, uh, it's the game is starting to become a slightly more even? It's just how the champions work. The Darius and Darius is a really good mid game champion, and Diana is a very good mid game champion as well. And Fair fact is losing their focus a little. They're not they're not able to coordinate the plays of their top lanes they had as well as their um you know playing. And already matching the Darius here. I don't really like this play. I really wish that the, the the Dax would be a little more active into this um side lane matchup. Because Ari is a really key factor into the CC. And Oh Fairfax is not able to take 
the Nasher. But this drag fight completely... Jax is completely separated from this drag fight. But we will see how it goes. This drag fight might be the turning point of this game. Can Fairfax continue their snowball by finishing and locking in this team fight as a win? Maybe ending the game, or will Eisenhower open up a new chapter for their esports game against Fairfax? Ari continues poking from the side. Amumu coming from the inside. Ari, Vayne ults, flashes out, pushes out. Ooh. Pushes out the the the, the Darius. Vayne is continuously kiting. Vayne is kiting. Vayne is alive. Vayne is alive. Vayne is alive. If Vayne is alive, nobody dies. If Vayne is alive, nobody dies. Oh my goodness! As everyone oh. killed, everyone was chasing the Vayne. Everybody chasing the Vayne. Vayne does not die. Landing a really good condemn onto the Darius onto the Dragon Pit wall. That was that was a beautiful scene. I'm just gonna watch that back here. My goodness, the kiting here was honestly immaculate. And the peel from both the Ari and the Sejuani was amazing. So as it, as we approach here, this wow. dodges the grasp of death from Diana, dodging the ult and then condemning the Darius again at that wall. That's honestly amazing to see. Ends the game straight through top lane, taking the inhibitor. And that will be a GG. Next is down against Eisenhower from Fairfax Lines. Wow. Wow. Dominance, a little bit of fallback, then dominance again. Wow. That, I mean, how do you see of that, you know, as of that game? How do you, how do you think that went? What do, you, what do you feel about that? Um, so definitely from this game, wow. Like, it was so... It was like, it was not only it wasn't like so nerve wracking to watch, definitely because I feel like I was very spooked by both the Diana and yeah. the Darius a lot. Yeah. But I was actually really shocked to see them, you know. Wow, that last team fight though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was a really big turning point. If Vayne is alive, the team don't die. That is a sight to see. I think we can obviously agree, Vayne. He did the job of the ADC. AD carry, attack damage carry. You carry the team, you try to stay alive, and you deal the most damage as the person who can deal the most damage and do your job correctly. And that was what we witnessed. Good game to Fairfax and good game to Eisenhower. And thank you for um, playing with us. Thank you for viewing and watching us. A little bit of minor issues, but good stream, good games, good day. It's been a while since we last streamed. Yeah. So All right. Thank yeah. Thank you for everyone who joined. Um, I believe we are streaming um, Smash Bros. today. Yeah. Maybe. At yeah. four, but for now, for the league team, yes. we will be saying our adioses, our bye byes, our JGNs. All right. Thank you for guys for watching. See you guys. See you. Thank you so much for watching.